financial accounting, cash and accounts receivable, uh, receivables, because we're going to talk about notes receivable too. This is uh, the beginnings of our March through the balance sheet chapters. And so uh, the first kind of uh, assets we're going to talk about are those current assets, uh, which include cash and receivables. Uh, specifically, cash and cash equivalents. What do we mean by that? Uh, well, I think you understand cash. That's money. Uh, and cash equivalents are places we park our money to earn a bit of interest um, in the short run. So cash equivalents are very easily converted to cash. So they may be something as simple as um, Gee, uh, a traveler's check, that's a cash equivalent. Or a money market fund, uh, that's a cash equivalent. Something that basically you can convert to money very, very quickly. We're also going to take a look at the bank reconciliation. And the bank reconciliation, as you know it, is only half of the bank reconciliation that you really need to do in order to be effective. So we're going to look at both sides of the bank rec. We're also going to be looking at accounts receivable and answering the question, well, what journal entries do we make for accounts receivable? And what do I do about people who don't pay their bills? In other words, our bad debts or our uncollectible accounts. Finally, we're going to look at notes receivable uh, when folks give us notes rather than charge it on their credit card. What, how do we handle notes receivable? Uh, how do we find a maturity value? And how do we find that interest? So that's kind of an overview of what we're going to be doing this chapter.